Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brian and I'm a writer. It's been almost a year since some of us have been working from home. And I've noticed how people are still struggling with lights, especially when doing presentations. Either they're giving a speech or they're talking to other people online, Zoom, Skype, you name it. So I'm gonna show you a little setup I did for my wife with some practical lights I had at home, lamps, windows, stuff like that, and maybe one or two like cheap lights off of Amazon. I will link everything in the description below. Also, before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is my home. And like many of you, it is anything but a place ready for work. So when all this working from home started, my wife and I decided to turn our guest bedroom into an office slash TV room slash storage room slash YouTube studio these days. It has four walls, two very small windows, one of them facing the street and the other one facing a covered patio. It also has a closet and a ceiling fan with a horrible light. Well, we'll talk more about that later. It is also dark, very dark, hence the TV room idea. The best thing you can do for a flattering image on a video call is to place yourself by a window. The light will be soft and will make your skin look very smooth. You can place yourself directly facing the window or to the side of it, no more than 45 degrees. Never, yes, never place a window behind yourself or you will be backlit, like a silhouette. Everything else will look dark. Also, the larger the window, the softer the light. You can use shears to dim it down if needed. Now, let's talk about the rest of us. The ones with small windows working from a side table on a beat up couch. The easiest way to make this happen is by using lights. Any lights. From Ikea to Target, anything is fair game. Now going back to the ceiling fan light. When you have a light source above you, you will cast harsh shadows. Your nose will look bigger, you'll have panda eyes, and that double chin will be very, very prominent. Instead, use a diffused soft light. Table lamps are perfect for this. I have a couple of night lamps on opposite sides of my room to create an atmosphere, to create separation from me and the dark background. Also, take advantage of your closet. Turn the light on and keep the door open. It will fill the space as if it was light coming from a nearby window. No one on the other side of the screen will know, but it will make everything look great and more spacious on camera. Well, that takes care of the room. Now, what about the subject? You. For that, the best thing I found is investing in a pair of cheap rechargeable RGB video lights like this pixel light I found on Amazon. The battery lasts for hours, it is dimmable, and it has mounting options for a camera tripod or similar. I like articulated arms as well. I can attach them to anything and they are super cheap, at least a couple as well. I also like that the light is RGB and I can change the color to my liking from a bright morning interview type of thing to a moody, sunny afternoon. You know, it's all about the vibe. So now let's make this setup look pretty. The trick is placing lights on the sides of the subject. A light to the right of the computer screen and a secondary light to the other side will fill in the shadows created by the first light. The first light will resemble a large window, while the second one will enhance the sense of space. Keep in mind that the second light should ideally be dimmed down in comparison to the first one. The idea is to make it flattering, not to remove all the skin textures to the face so it looks fake. Some shadows are normal. Oh, and this is a pro tip. When using RGB lights, try to match the color of the light to the nearest real light source in your room. This is called motivating the light. And this is how they do it in movies, commercials, and TV studios. A blue light on one side and a yellow light on the other will not only enhance the image, but it will make it more interesting and pleasing for the viewer. The people on the other side of your Skype call. I know, you are not trying to produce a TV show, but in a way, you kind of are. So now let's recap. Place yourself near a large window if available. Add lamps and turn on the light sources to lighten up the room. Avoid direct top light. Invest in some rechargeable RGB lights and place them on both sides of your subject if possible. Finally, if all you have is a single RGB light or light source, place it in front of your subject. In this case, you are the subject. The trick is to put this light a little behind of your computer screen. It might be a little blinding at first, but it will be the closest thing to a beauty shot or a makeup desk. The light coming from your laptop will serve as a secondary light, filling in all the darker shadows. Yeah, that was it guys. Uh, I hope you guys have learned something from this. So if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.
Yeah.